Ini yang lalu ini. You can hear me? Yeah, I just want to make sure you hear. Yeah. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Finally! What's goody? I don't know why I'll be forgetting. I'm just need, I, I'm I'm going to get this phone. I don't know why the hell I'm still waiting. Could have went today and got it. Let's see. I just still like pulling up my damn names. I think it's the wrong one. Peace. Finally, y'all know I gotta get a reminder. <laughs> Goddamn phone be added up. That's all right. I'm gonna replace her soon. Pick her ass up. I guess I'm gonna have to wait till Monday because. If I go in there tomorrow, they're going to try to reset my whole phone. I ain't got time for all that. So I'm just going to get that bitch Monday. Peace, everybody. What's going on, family? Now, why did they do that right there? Why did they do that? That is all. I still got my brownie, y'all. I'm eating it tonight. Eating the rest of it. We're gonna break this movie down. It's not even a movie, it's actually a TV series, so. And I'm gonna dive in because I'm about to go in the third world. Yeah. Mm hmm. The more it sits, the more potent it gets. Okay? Mm hmm. It's true as hell, too. I don't like chewing stuff that long. <laughs> I don't need my damn jaws here to hurt and all of it. I don't like chewing that long. Yes, and we're back. Had a little intermission, you know, had to get back. But as y'all see, I have my lovely guests. Yes, I do. I, girl, I'm eating my last, last bits. Out of this whole pan. I think y'all seen the pan. The big pan I had. So I'm eating my last bit tonight. Yes. I'm going to eat all of this. You know what I mean? Going down. Got me a little drink and drink too. Um, you know. Got a little smoke smoke. You know. The holidays. You know how you do. But every day is a holiday for me. Y'all say it's a thug holiday. Okay. But yeah, mm, I told you this fucking brownie. And y'all know how it is with my mouth already. And that bitch is shutting me. It's so thick, it's, sh- it's shutting down on me, but it's good than the fire. But if y'all haven't seen the TV series, um, what is it? Um, Inside Job. Check that shit out, y'all. It's a cartoon, but it's a TV series on Netflix. It's got a lot of subliminal messages, symbols through the whole series. And I'm on I'm actually on season two, so it's only got two seasons out right now. But the show, each show is like 25 minutes to 30 minutes for each one, so you'll go through it quick. But it's called Inside Job, and it's all about this union, um, this company, and the company kind of, they, you know, they feed the illusions, they try to hide the illusions. So we, I'm going to um, talk about more about what this company actually represents, because a lot of 
people might be thinking, you know, on a literal standpoint, dealing with, you know, the stuff that they're putting out. Oh, the aliens in there, and, you know, so the aliens must be real, or, you know, they talked about the landing on the moon and all of that shit. So, as I was watching it, I was actually getting more, um, I was getting some downloads in the mix of watching it, you know, dealing with the scenarios that they was talking about on the show. Y'all got the skews in. She trying to make up Ty. She trying to put makeup on him, honey. And don't know what that's about, but she's trying to make up everybody. Okay? So, what I got from it. Have you watched it? You didn't watch the inside job here? I haven't watched it. You got to watch it. You got to watch it. It's basically what I got out of it. It's, it's all about the Great Awakening. Peace, bro. Get back. Get back. Yeah. No, you're not coming over here. Shannon. Call Jen. She keep trying to get over. What is this? She keep trying to get over here in my area. She, she was about to bring her whole set over here till he said, "Come here, Baba." <laughs> but um, what I got from it, from the, the title "Inside Job," is all about a great awakening. Like when we entered the 2020, right? So a lot of people got their shades. Um, a lot of people start, you know, questioning, um, awakening to certain things, you know, around us, period, you know, dealing with this plane, um, the experiences that we, you know, we have endeared here, um, the whole journey, you know, just waking up to, to the real, to the truth, okay? Just waking up to the truth, becoming more aware of our experiences here, okay? So, that's what I got about the title which is called Inside Job, is basically about a great awakening, okay? The company that they work at, that's in Inside Job, is called, it, it's called Cognito. That's what it's called. But it's Cognito, Inc. And if you put it together, as like they did, peace, peace, sis. As they did at the beginning of first of the first season, they put in Cognito together, and then they broke it up to Cognito Inc., which is an incorporation, basically. We know what Inc. is. But to put the word back together, Incognito means one's true identity, okay? And that is a concealed, um, one's true identity concealed or hidden. So, this is all about your true self being hidden, okay, from what's actually real, dealing with the reality here of this experience, okay, I mean, of this journey, so, it caught in, um, Cognito is a company that deals with, you know, concealing your true identity, all right, but in this business, they deal with the conspiracy theories, now, we all know about conspiracy theories, all right? And conspiracy theories, you know, they, they say, you know, it's pretty much, you know, things that, you know, might not be true, okay? All right? But a lot of conspiracy theories um, actually are true, um, just from a different standpoint of understanding it. But they stage all of these conspiracy theories. Now, all of these conspiracy theories comes from us. Our projections, I mean, not projections, but our perspectives about life. Okay? So, all of these conspiracy theories that's out actually starts with self. Okay? It's your perspective of how you, you know, understand or understand life or, you know, go about with life. Okay? The things that, you know, we've also taken on in the experience, okay, which are a part of conspiracy theories, all right? And a lot of times, conspiracy theories can be a little fearful for those who don't understand, all right? So, they stage these conspiracies, all right? So, it not incognito, or cognito, is you and your true self, okay, which is within, okay? That's why it's the hidden all right, that's why it means hidden. And they're in this corporation where all of these conspiracies are hidden. And that's dealing with the mind, okay? So, 
I dug a little deeper, you know, just getting a little information dealing with conspiracy. And conspiracy is agree. That means to agree. Okay. Um, plot and also an unlawful design. All right. To understand unlawful design, you have to understand the mind. Okay. And with an unlawful, unlawful design, that all deals, deals with what you create. All right. In your subconscious or the feminine energy, you know, creating. All right. These conspiracy theories, okay, or this conspiracy, all right, your life for existence, all right, it's a whole conspiracy theory, all right, this journey is a whole conspiracy theory, okay, so that's the things that you agree upon, the things that you plot, okay, in your unlawful designs, which you create, you know, from the subconscious mind, all right, or in that feminine energy, all right. So I'm like, okay, you know, let's, let's dig deep a little bit on the unlawful. All right, so unlawful, and that means to bent. Okay? It's bent, ma'am. Yeah, I got to see the keys. They're a little hyper. Um, unlawful is bent, it is curved or an angle. Okay? And it also means actionable. Or against the law, as they would say. Okay? Unlawful means to be against the law. Alright? So that's to go against something. And if you look into law, that is just firmly established things that we lay down or to lie down or we fix or set. Alright? Right and legal privilege. Basically the blueprint. Alright? So that's the law. It's the blueprint. All right. So for it to be unlawful, that means you're creating. All right, against the blueprint. All right. Stay with me, y'all, because it's it's a lot. They got a lot of like they got a lot of like um keywords in the child here. They got a lot of keywords. They got a lot of keywords key in the um, TV series. Inside job, okay. So I got to thinking about with the law, and I got to like, oh, law and order, okay, because we hear that a lot, law and order. So we know law is basically the blueprint, all right, to your existence. That's the law, okay, that deals with the um part of your governed mind, okay. So that's the blueprint to your mind, all right. Now, when it comes to deal with the order, that's what you structure, all right. That's your system. That's the layout. That's your organization. Things that you organize. All right. And or you construct. All right. So this is all about. This is all about. The blueprint and how we structure our mind through these conspiracies in our journey. Okay. And that all takes that all takes takes place inside. All right. Theory, and it's crazy because we we listen to these words. We like we know we've kind of like you know we don't heard these words, but we never just kind of broke broke these words down to like um you know to the terms to understanding what it really is. We just take things for face value, and we don't never go beyond that. And that's why I be telling people you got to dig deeper because things are much deeper than just the surface of what we've been gave, even conspiracy. Okay, so the theory. Dealing with conspiracy theory, okay, for all those conspiracy theorists out there, you're creating these theories, okay? As they say, we're conspiracy theorists. We're creating these theories. Everybody has their own conspiracy theory, okay? So this theory is what you spectate. And we spectate in life, okay? It's also a contemplation of your life, okay? Speculation as well. And it's also is to observe. But the key word here is mental scheme. Alright? You can mentally scheme your mind just by the theories that you conspire in your mind. Dealing with that subconscious and conscious. That becomes your reality. Okay? So, with that mental scheme also, with dealing with theory, it means conception. 
Where do we hear conception at, my nigga? Okay. We hear conception when it deals with birthing, right? Mm -hmm. Or when a woman, you know, be conceives, all right? So, that that's dealing with that birthing. That's dealing with the genesis, okay, or the gene of Isis. That's dealing with the creations, all right? Your formation as well, all right? Or formulation, all right? Which is also the beginning, origin, or invention, Okay. So these are your, this lifestyle is our theories, okay? And there's multiple levels of theories. You just have to go inside to get the origin or the beginning of the theory, okay? Which is inside, all right? Now they talk, ooh, 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 yeah. I printed out. That what's the name? Where is it? It's an, a great awakening map that I printed out. Hold up. Because this great awakening map deals with all the conspiracy theories of this journey. Okay? Every angle that we have created. Alright? Which are multiple, multiple theories. So they have a great awakening map. Okay? That has all of these theories on here, especially dealing with what the government, yeah. um, Genesis. Somebody need to come. It's like people is commenting on my video, but I ain't seeing that nail comment. Okay, <laughs> they must be on the old video, the other one. Hold on, let me make sure. You got it? I can say I, I know I printed it out. Okay. I know y'all can't see the words. Um, hold up. I'm trying to get the green light out of it. I want y'all to see the name of it. It's an Ascension 5D map. Map, but they also have it labeled as the Great Awakening Map. Okay, and I posted on my page because I got it back there, and I don't feel like walking to go get it. But it is all the theories. Okay, it's all the theories that mankind has conspired. Okay? Yeah, the Great Awakening map or the, that, or that 5D Ascension map. All of that deals with the theories that mankind has conspired. Okay? And that's what conspiracy theories are. Alright? The things that we have conspired through our own theories, which is our own perspectives. Oh, this is, that's the great way. Okay, yeah. Now, the Great Awakening one, let me see. I'm trying to get it with my light. The iceberg, yes. I can't, y'all can't see this one. I think it's because my light. Um, hold up. Let me see if I can cut this off right quick so y'all can see it. I don't know. But this one is the Great Awakening. And they have multiple, mo it's like, man, everything that we have created, okay, through theories, all right, is on the Great Awakening, okay, um, map, and that deals with what we've conspired here, so in the Inside Job, um, in the Inside Job TV series, it's actually talking about all the things that we conspired, um, they have what, the aliens on there, okay, they have vampire shit on there, they have, um, J, who was the, uh, J.F. Kennedy. They was talking about the Kennedys on there. They was talking about, um, Keanu, um, Ke what is his name? Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves. You know, him being a vampire. All of these things that we have, you know, we have created in the mind is dealing with our great awakening. And, and the more we was creating these theories, the more it was raising the vibrations, okay, for us to wake up. And be aware of these, this map, okay? Which is where we're at right now, okay? So, I'm a, uh, I, I will post that. Cause I do, I did, I copied it, I printed it out. Um, now most conspiracies that we know of, okay? They are capitalism. Mm hmm. They capitalism. They capital off of a lot of these conspiracies. And it's right off of what we project out. Okay? 
So those that are the higher ups, they will capitalize off of the things that we conspire. And they will use that shit against you and continue to feed you that illusion that you have conspired in your own mind. Even the shit that they've conspired in their own mind. Okay? They will use it against the masses. Okay? Which is another way to capitalize off of using your energy. Okay? Not money. Because the true abundance is dealing with your energy. That costs more than any damn thing. That's priceless. Okay? So, they will use these theories. Okay? Um, the capitalist... What the hell? Get her off of that! I don't know why she's just dishes. Girl, get off and under there. JC, I moved that carpet. Get up, mama. Okay. You're just crazy. Get out of there. Huh? Okay. Mommy. But, um, capitalism also deals with power, okay? And it's also symbolized for the head of reality. Okay? This is your capital. Okay? The top, the consciousness. That's your capital. Okay? That's your capsule, okay, to your pyramid, all right? Mm -hmm. And they use that energy to capitalize, okay, by controlling the energy, okay? Now, the more you become more aware of these situations and realize that this all is bullshit, exactly. you know, that we've created, then they can no longer control your capital. You see what I'm saying? So... The father that was in inside job, okay, he is aware of everything, okay, and he un he knows he used to work for Incognito, okay, or Cognito. He used to work for them, all right, until he started to go against the grain, all right, which is against the law. He started doing unlawful things, which really actually was tapping into what really makes sense, what the truth really is, okay. So, he knew a lot, all right? And he knew how to play the game. Now, I forgot about this part. At the beginning, in the um, business, please get her. Thank you. In the beginning, okay, inside of Cognito Incorporation, they have a chest floor. And they have these doors that's like stage areas, okay? It looks like the curtains being pulled back, okay? Or pulled close together. And then you have this big chess floor, okay? And that's because they're playing chess, baby, in the capital, okay? Inside of you is where the real chess game takes place. Outside in the physical is just checkers, baby. All right? So for you to play chess, you have to go within. Other than that, you're going to be physically playing checkers, okay? And that's jumping over one over another, okay? Instead of strategically using your mind to, you know, make conscious moves, all right? Which is being aware of how you move in this game, all right? And they also reference this shit as a game, too, in the TV series, all right? Now, they also say, for those who want to know the shape of Earth, okay, and all of that, they also expose that Earth has no structure. We should know that. Earth has no structure. All right? It's not round. It's not flat. It's just no structure. All right? Because in the beginning of things, there was no structure. All right? None. Okay? So, Earth has no structure. It's only based off of what we have projected out. Okay? Which is the reality. Our mere reality. Okay? So, it has no structure. All right? They did expose that. Um, they was also speaking about the layers dealing with earth, okay? And these layers that they're talking about, we've all been taught about these layers dealing with the earth, okay, inside the earth. Well, these layers are pretty much levels in your heart because we know earth deals with the heart, okay? So these are layers or levels inside of your heart, which we talked about a couple weeks ago or last week. Dealing with the levels of love, okay? So these are levels inside of the heart, okay? And we only 
structure this experience, just like I said, through the heart. All right? Other than that, there's no structure on earth. It's only the experiences that we structure. Okay? They say that there's an awakening capitalism taking place, which is also referenced as the paragram shift, which we know what's going on right now. This shift that's happening, this great awakening. Okay? Um... And when they was talking about, because they talk about Kennedy a lot, and I think it's because Kennedy, in the first season, they talk about him so much. I think it's because Kennedy exposed a lot in his speech, okay, when he was um, president, dealing with the extraterrestrial. Now, a lot of people took that as a physical standpoint, but he was actually talking about you going within yourself, okay, and talking to your higher self, all right? It was never anything about UFOs, all right? So they, they talk about Kennedy a lot. And that's because Kennedy, in his letter, exposed the extraterrestrial energy, which is dealing with... Corey, well, what do you think? Oh, I don't know. But which is dealing with your capital, okay? Okay? In the series, they're sitting at a triangle table... Peace, peace, sis. They're sitting at a triangle table that's in the Cognito Incorporation. Okay? And this is where everything takes place. Alright? This is where everything takes place. Now, we know that the cat, uh, the triangle deals with the Trinity. That deals with the wholeness, the oneness. And for anything to be projected or be created, it has to be one. Okay? Whether you're aware of it or not. Okay? That's just how everything takes place, all right? That's how things flow in this journey, okay? So they, they sit at the triangle table, okay? And they talk about these conspiracy theories. Yeah, it's a good it's a good show, sis. It's really good. They dropped a lot of gems in it. But when you look at it, you know, for those who, you know, take everything that you hear with a grain of salt, okay? And, and dig deeper than what the fuck they're giving you off the show, okay? Hollywood doesn't even work like that. You know, they, they, they do things in symbolism, all right? That you have to break down, you know, to get the real message or the origin of shit, all right? So, you know, they sitting at this triangle table. And it's not by coincidence because that's where everything takes place. In creation, it has to be whole, all right? Okay, sis. And, um... That is also what I got from that, them sitting at the table. I also got, I got that this is a pyramid of our reality. Now, I know that we all are familiar with the pyramids. There's so many different pyramids, okay? Not just dealing with the chakras, but dealing with job workforces, dealing with um, humanity, okay? Dealing with your mind, okay? Because they have the several levels, okay? Dealing with the mind, it also deals with the pyramid, okay? So this pyramid is actually represent, like I said, everything at wholeness. That's your creations. So that's their, your reality, okay? That's what you're going to project out through your first eye, okay? And that's because it's based off of your own perspectives of things in life, all right? So if you believe... That there's aliens, all right. That's your your reality, all right. Just like if you believe vampires on a literal standpoint, that's your reality, okay. And there's no wrongs or rights. It's just that's your reality of things, all right. But everything goes deeper than that, all right. So they go to the moon in one of the um, shows. And in one of the shows, Pete just hang overview the whole sign. Okay. The diamond. Look. Do I got what is it? When I was in I was in love with, you know, Hov of them, you know, Jay-Z them, the whole Hover game. I, I got the Diamond Dynasty on me. I had started. And then I went to jail. And I couldn't get that shit finished. But I, I have the diamond and I was gonna put Dynasty right there. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I started it, but
But hey, didn't get to finish this shit. End up going to jail. But yes, that definitely is, you know, the whole of shit, the whole elite, all right? And when you see the elite do that, that's because the what? They're in control of the reality of the masses. They can manipulate you, okay? Just based off of your own conspired theories that they've used against us in this lifetime, okay? In multiple lifetimes, okay? And I'm pretty sure that's what's in the um the book of the president, the secret book, okay? I'm pretty sure. All right, it's okay. To you. Okay, I gotta get it finished though. I'm gonna finish it up, but I'm gonna put something else other than diamonds down that bit. Okay, now they um in one of the series, um, one of the shows, they end up going to the moon. It's crazy. They keep going to this moon in multiple shits that we've been watching lately. Um, but the moon, you know, they got it set up as you know this. Uh, a lot of people want to believe that the moon is like some type of workstation. Um. Some place where it's aliens hiding inside the moon. Um, and not understanding what the moon really represents. Um, <sighs> but that moon does play a lot on what you, you know, what you experience here in the journey. Okay? So it's very, it's a connection to the moon. All right? So this moon, but it represents, the moon represents fertility. So we know with fertility, that's what you birthed in. Everything comes from your womb, all right? And it works its way up through the heart, through your with your throat, which you're going to speak out, which is the frequency, all right? And then what you're going to project out. Cycles in one. Yes, the cycles, okay? All right? A lot of people are born, too, when the moon is born. Um, the moon is up. From the gut up. Yep, yeah, it works its way all the way from the gut up, Okay? So this is dealing with what you're going to birth down. Okay? So and and which is also another thing for birthing your rea the birthing of your own reality, okay? So that's what the moon represents, okay? And in the moon they had special techniques and shit, okay? And also the moon represents darkness because in that same scene the guy that was, you know, the captain for the moon, okay, and he just happened to be masculine energy. Um, he was the captain over the moon, okay, in corporation. And they wanted to take over Earth, okay, or the light. They wanted to destroy the light, okay, and go back into complete darkness, which is a shift. Remember, this is a shift taking place, all right? Well, I'm having labor pains. I'm ready to push. Fuck. Okay, push it out, girl. Push it out, okay? <laughs> I ain't gonna say what I'm about to say. But push it out. I'm gonna say go to the bathroom. Baby. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, so the moon, you know, I, I can see why a lot of people say that, but that's not what it actually is it deals with. That moon it, it, it doesn't hold no weight. Okay? It only holds weight when it deals with the cycles of us. Okay, it's a connection to us. Other than that, there's nobody in the fucking moon, and they didn't land on the moon. Now, I got a little tea about that now, if y'all want to know about that now, because I did get that on the download. When they did say, now, in the series, they landed on the moon. They said, now, that's real. We landed on the moon. They said that shit. I'm going to tell y'all, the moon that they landed on, okay, was up in the waters, okay? NASA deals hey sis <laughs> NASA deals with a lot of illusions okay they create these perspectives okay and they use this okay we've all been to the planetarium they don't showed you if we can do this on the screen then we can do this in the plane okay yes waters above waters below and they even say that at the beginning of the Bible too. Okay, when the water separated. Alright? So, if they're going to the moon, they're going inside the water. Okay? And if you pay attention to some of the old footages dealing with NASA, <laughs> it was water bubbles, air bubbles. There was underwater. Okay? They, they didn't go outside and explain, y'all. <laughs> they went under. <laughs> Okay, spaceship. Okay, also dealing with um with the spaceship. What they have that the submarine. the submarine. 
The submarine connects to your subconscious. Ding, 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 ding. That's the submarine, submarine going in the water. Going into darkness. Okay? That's you going into, that's going into the subconscious. Alright? So they said that. Which was true. Because their asses went underwater. Explain why they move so slow. Yeah, it explains why they move so damn slow. Okay? For y'all that don't know, I got a download, what, about two years ago about gravity. And gravity only exists in this freaking suit. Okay? That's what's keeping you grounded here in this experience. Alright? It, 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 doesn't, it, it doesn't exist nowhere. Okay? And space here, we walking through it all day. Walking through it all day, every day. Okay? We doing that. Okay? So, that yeah, they went to the moon, alright? They went up under the waters, okay? Through the subconscious, which is a submarine. Alright? Now, they was talking about if they... That's why our breath is important. Yes! That's why. That's why. Mm-hmm. Because they say if you can't breathe, it's like, what, a dead fish out of water. Okay? Alright, so they were saying in the series, in one of the shows about the one about the moon, okay? They were saying, you know, if there's no moon, okay, there won't be no tides. Alright? And which they're talking about, alright? Now, the moon here definitely connects to the tides here. All, everything connects, okay? Even though it's not what we expect to be dealing with reality, okay? Reality is only based off your perspectives, okay? That's what reality is, okay? It's based off what you create, all right? So, if there's no tides moving, all right, from the force of the moon, which is you projecting your birth, all right, which is going to push these tides, because that's a representation of fertility, that's a representation of you giving birth, okay? So, if these tides are not being pushed, okay, th there won't be no creation. All right? And you will be out of orbit. All right? Bye. You will be out of orbit. And then there will be what? No structure again. And to have no structure, you have to go back to the beginning. All right? And to push, okay, to create, continue to create, you have to have these tideways. And that's the push of the flow of the, the water, which is the flow of your energy, okay? Let the force be with you. That's what all that represents, okay? The breath is life. Yes, the breath is life. Can't meditate without breathing. Ain't no oxygen going to the brain. You damn sure can't meditate without no breathing. Now, you got to breathe. Now, you got to breathe, okay? Got to have a nice breathing technique, all right? Because breathing not only, you know... Is what we need to live here, of course, right? It, it helps in meditation to relax you, okay? Clear your mind, all right, in a sense. So you breathe in, all right, is good to use during meditation because it's going to keep you calm. But if you start to <sighs> through meditation, you're hyperventilating. That means you're scaring the shit out yourself, okay? So you definitely have to breathe through things, all right, to remain calm. All right, that's why you'll keep getting pushed back if you don't learn the lesson. Exactly, just like them damn tideways, okay? Mm. If you're not grounded in them tideways, when they're pushing, you know, your ass going to go back, okay? So, yeah, you definitely right about that. Got to get the lesson, all right? But, yeah, so if y'all haven't, check it out. It's a great ass, like I said, they got a lot of gems in it. But please don't take it literal, y'all. They're not, they not saying that it's, it's aliens out here. They're not saying it's vampires. They actually want you to dig deep, okay? Because, you know, with the elite, they're not just going to give you that free will of information. You got to decode it. If it was just that easy, yes, yeah, on Netflix, if it was just that easy, okay, then we'll be going through life with a breeze. It really wouldn't even be no lessons to learn. Because then you got all the keys. Then you got the cheat sheet. Okay? So Hollywood knows how to interpret this. Alright? 
So you got you got to expand your mind to understand what they're saying. All right, to get the real message, the origin, which is the theory. Okay, at the beginning of all these other fucking theories that's been put out. All right. Now the girl, which is the main character, her name is um, what is her damn name? Oh, I cannot remember her name, y'all. I wrote it down. I guess I did. I can't remember her name, but she's she's the main girl, and she actually wants to be able to run the company. All right, but she's so stuck into trying to hide the truth. Okay. And she feel like, you know, to be owner of the incognito, which is holding one's identity, true identity, I have to, her name is Reagan. That's right. Her name is Reagan. What a fucking coincidence. Reagan Ronald. Wasn't Reagan, what was her name? Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan. I'm going to say Reagan Ronald. <laughs> Ronald Reagan, y'all. What, what the fuck is coincidence of that? What did Ronald Reagan want you to do? He wanted your ass to stay stop, okay? He wasn't trying to give you no tea. Nothing. Alright? So that's really what she represents. She ain't trying to, she, hell not, nah, she's trying to keep everybody confused. They don't need to know the truth. Alright? Cause she wanna be at the comp, to be at the Capitol. She wanted to run that bitch. Okay? But her daddy, who used to work there, was actually pretty much still a partner. Okay? Of it in the first season. <laughs> her name is niggas. Okay? Straight up nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you know, in the first in the uh, first season, you know, the daddy he was he he didn't work there anymore, but he was still a partner of the company. So he he has a lot to do with that company. But he went against the shit like mm mm. Y'all trying to y'all hiding the truth. Everybody need to know what's really going on. All right. You need to expose these conspiracies. Put them out there. All right. So um. She wasn't with that. She was like, you know, you need to stop telling people that, you know, you need, you're scaring people, you know. He was really one of the biggest conspiracy theorists in there, okay? He will conspire all the shit that they've had behind in Incognito Incorporation, all right? And they would, he would go out here and tell people, yeah, there's really aliens out here. Yeah, it's really this, you know? You got to open up your eyes and realize what's going on, you guys. He was really instilling a little bit more fear than anything, but he wanted to expose what the fuck. Cognito knew about. That was his whole mission. All right. Even though he used those theories on other people, okay, by saying, "Yeah, this is true. This is what they did," you know, and it was lies. He was using that to his best advantage to expose Cognito of what they knew and what they was using against the public. All right. Well, he ends up being. The, the owner, all right, in the second season, all right, so he actually came back and became the owner, all right, so he was running things, all right, and he wanted, you know, to be on the side of trying to do things right in his nature of thinking, you know, well, I'm the owner, you know, we got to, you can't, we can't expose certain things, but his daughter didn't like the way he was working, you know what I'm saying, she didn't like the way he was, you know, conspiring, okay, through the company, all right, so it was a lot of, um, it's a lot of love, hate between her and her father because of that, you know what I'm saying, he wanted her to most likely work for what he did, you know what I'm saying, to get where he was at in that company, but she felt like, you know, she should get it easy, because, you know, her daddy was pretty much part owner, and he became 100% owner, okay, in the second season, but yeah, they dropped a lot of tea um, in the show. And like I said, I'm just now actually getting on season two. So I'm like on the third episode. So when I finish the rest of that one, I'll bring some more to go with this. But that is just to get everybody to get caught up on it. So yeah, check it out, y'all. It's a good show. They dropped a lot of gems. And just remember that this is all about the shit that we conspired in our own mind, which just became our own theory in life, okay? And now that we are aware of these conspiracies that we have put out, okay, we can move and maneuver in a different way, all right? But it's going to be some people that's really going to be like, oh, they're putting a lot of tea in there. Yeah, they did put a lot of tea in there. They put a lot, okay? But it's not what you're, it's not literal, 
All right. Of course, Hollywood is going to put it out as a literal, physical, human mind thing. All right. But you have to go beyond the flesh, which is inside, which is where your real job, reli you know, it lies. Okay. So, yeah. But, yeah, y'all. I just wanted to come in and check on y'all. Let y'all know, you know. Bro came through. Can't see me. I was like, yes. But, yeah. <laughs> we got a little, uh, things to do tomorrow, so. But I just wanted to, you know, tap in. I told y'all I was coming for, coming to do the live today. And I think I'm feeling that brownie a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I think I am starting to feel the brownie a little bit. Because <laughs> so, I'm starting to ramble. I'm starting to ramble. I'm starting to ramble. Uh, <laughs> but I wanted to, you know, come and talk to y'all family about this show right here. Because I definitely... Wanted to um, tune in with y'all about it. And let y'all know, you know, check it out. Because when I finish it, I'm definitely going to drop some OT about it. Because they had a lot. They got a lot. All right. But go in with an open mind. Okay. And take what you hear with a solid grain, a grain of salt. All right. But yeah. You got anything you want to say? You want to add? I got to uh I gotta check that out myself because what you gave, you gave a whole lot. That yeah. also kind of, uh, it, it uh, seemed like that also kind of, uh, take it back almost like the uh, Umbrella Academy. Yeah, like the Umbrella Academy, yeah. yeah. Yeah, because the way you explained the Umbrella Academy did the same thing, but you just had to go more deeper into it. Yeah, it's on, it's on Netflix. Yeah. Yeah, it's on Netflix. Yeah. Yeah, it is like Umbrella. It definitely is. Umbrella was actually a good show, TV yeah, series too. Yeah. They still got a, they got a lot. They yeah. do so far what I've seen. Yeah, yep, they actually, do. They got a new series out too. Uh, Umbrella Academy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Umbrella Academy got a new series. Yeah, what's the name of it again? It's called Inside Job. On um, the one we was talking about the other day, Nene. Yeah. You say I need to go need to get that again, okay? Y'all should do a breakdown of the umbrella card again. Yeah. <laughs> yes, thank you. Yeah, the umbrella cabinet, they dropped a the ass of tea. They dropped a the lot. And I, I go into that. Because they got how many other, how many seasons they got? They got one, two, three, four. I think it's I wanna say it's three or four seasons. See, I watched the first two. They got a new no, one, I'm, so I must have missed one. one. So it's like I think it's like three. I think it's three to four right now. I think it's okay. three to four. Oh, tee hee hee. That because in this one, in this one that they have the original, the original is fighting now like a alter, uh, uh, alter ego. Now nah, they're fighting like, like you know, like he had all them as his, uh, as his children. Yeah. Well, when they went. To the future, the fight come back, everything changed. Oh, they've been replaced, and now it's like it's a it's a fight, like a self versus self fight. Yeah, kind of. Oh, like okay. Yeah. Four, I think. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I thought so. I thought it was about four. Yeah, that's what I said. It's about four. It's about four. So we gonna have to. Yeah, we gonna have to. We gonna have to all get up on that. Yeah. And get all the tea. Yeah. I'm yes, sure. American Horror Story too. That's. I love horror anyway, so. That show you had, that show you just watch was off the chain. Okay. So definitely, yeah, we gonna, we'll definitely do that because that is a good show. Umbrella Academy is just like Cognito, yeah. um, Incorporation, which is in Cop, Incognito. It's crazy that they named that fucking business Cognito. <laughs> For real. Yeah, American Horror Stories is really good. It's really good. It is definitely really good. And I definitely do that. Yeah, when I saw that part, I said it was a self versus self. Yeah. And now, we, it's you know, with the movies, you know, with us elevating, the movies elevate too. Exactly. Like what we're going through, that shit is projected out on the what? Big screen. Because mm -hmm. it's dealing with what we conspire, which is our own theories. You know what I'm saying? On our, dealing with our experiences. So hell yeah, and we in that self versus self energy right now, okay? With learning, learning self, okay, learning to love self, all of this shit again, over again. Can't wait for our episode. I definitely can't wait for this. 
I can't wait for this shit right. And look, they in the water. They in the water. We just watched what's the name that was in the water. Uh, Black Panther. And if you ever look at the Black Panther um promo picture for they like they they cover, they have the higher self, lower self. The girl is at the top, which is representing what the feminine energy, and then they got the guy at the bottom representing the masculine energy, and he's in water. Mm hmm. He's in water. Same thing as Aquaman, because Aquaman has to come out of the water, which is dealing with um. As they got it, the lower self, and he had to come out, okay, onto land. Well, no, not Aquaman. Aqua and Aquaman that's dealing with going into going within. So that's going into your feminine energy. Yeah. Oh, I just realized something. Oh yeah, no, not with Black Panther. But yeah, well, Aquaman, yeah, they was going with the, they was going into the water. So that's going into the feminine energy because feminine energy also represents the water too. So they was going into feminine energy. That's what Aquaman stayed in in the water, and he they had to come back on land to fight, which is representing this physical aspect, which is the masculine energy. And Aquaman is really good. Aquaman really good. I think Will did a breakdown on him too on that movie too. But it's the same thing. It's Aqu Aquaman is pretty much the same thing as the um, the new Black Panther. It's, it's, it's pretty much the same story storyline. Dealing with the elements that's within us as well. The more I look at these movies. Yeah. 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 Dealing with the elements within us. And, and the elements, on out, as they will say, outside of us, which all still connects... All we, they all connect. We got to have physical um, or masculine elements that's going to connect to the feminine elements, which is the negative and positive connecting to create a spark. You know what I'm saying? So they say, you know, the body only holds a certain amount of elements. Yes, that's true. But we take in all of these elements through this experience, whether it's through what we eat, what we breathe, um, you know, what we hear, touch, all of that shit deals with elements within us. Smell. So, yeah. It's good to know about the elements inside of you. Definitely good, because you'll know what connects with what on the outside. Just like the moon. <laughs> Let's go back to the moon right quick. Just like the moon. Okay? It is uh, on the outside of you. Okay? And that represents... The fertility, the birthing, okay? Or the womb, okay? But, that's just on the outside, you know? We see that. But to go inside the womb is where creation itself lies. So, we connect with that. Alright? And when I had my um son, when I had a cesarean, when they cut the umbilical cord, you know, when you go through a cesarean, you can't feel anything. Um, lower down through your body. You can't feel nothing lower on your lower body, part of your body, when they cut. So when they cut him, I actually felt that. Not in a sense of, you know, it hurting, but I felt that connection, you know, being cut. You know what I'm saying? And that was a connection from what? The spiritual side, which is dealing with the wound, dealing with the moon, you know, inside of us, okay? And it, it was a connection, okay? A cut in that connection. And I felt that. I felt that. I've been wondering if other women have felt that. But for some reason at that moment, I was so aware of it. Even though I was heavily drugged. And that's probably why I fucking was aware of it. Because I was so heavily drugged for the procedure. But I definitely felt that. So, yeah. We have to, you know, everything on a physical it's connected to you inside, spiritually. You know what I'm saying? Was I awake? Yeah, I was I was actually awake during it. Yep, I was totally woke. <laughs> and that shit shocked me. I wasn't aware as I, I am today with you know in my mind, but that shit shocked me like I'm like, what the fuck? Am I supposed to feel this? It wasn't a hurtful, it wasn't I felt a cut, it was more of a 
spiritual. You know how you feel, have like a spiritual feeling go through your body, whether it's chills or some type of, you know, the hairs on your, you know, I felt that energy, okay, go through my body. So when it, they cut him, I felt that disconnection. Yeah. I felt that. And, it, and that wasn't nothing physical. That was spiritual that I felt. But I haven't really found anybody else that really, you know, maybe they have, they just wasn't aware of it. But I definitely, I felt that shit. I was like, whoa. You know, as soon as they pulled them out, cut them, it was like, I, and I used to feel that shit. I used to feel it like right after I had him. I would feel like I would have, you might, y'all probably don't feel that. Now, I've had him, like when he was a baby, even with Jen, right after I had them, you know, you have your baby on your, on your stomach, you know, you have them close to you and you're holding them. I could still feel the connection though. Even though they cut it physically, I still could feel that connection spiritually. Like they still had that umbilical cord. But it was only when I had them close to my stomach. And I still have that feeling today. So I'm just like, you know, wasn't we weren't really I wasn't aware of it too much then, but now I understand what it really was. So even though we know this reality is not real, it's still a connection to you spiritually. Alright? Definitely connected to you spiritually. So you had an epidural. Yeah, I had an epidural. They tried to give me that for a C section by fuse. Yeah, they um I actually tried to go I tried to go without. I really did. Wow. And um when they gave me a um you know how like they speed up your um the process to get you um I no what is it? I was gonna say the wrong fucking word. That was not what I was about to, that ain't what I'm trying to say. When you're, <laughs> that's the fucking brother. I'm trying to say the wrong word. No, not that word. Not that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they gave me the speed of the process. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Oh my god. And when they did that, his his um his um oxygen dropped. So they had to do an emergency cesarean, and they gave me that. Yeah, to make my labor come faster. I was trying to talk about, you know, the levels in, in the vagina. Um, I couldn't get the word out, but I was about to say the wrong shit dealing with the vagina. That wasn't the word, okay? <laughs> that wasn't it. That was the nasty word I was about to say. <laughs> that was the reason for me. Yeah, they did that. I have been in labor for 30 hours with him. And yeah, that that was a long that was a long birth thing right there. It was 30 hours, the 3. But I tried. Yeah, I wanted to. I really wanted to push him out and they gave me that and he was like, "Oh, we got to do a miracle this here." And I'm like, "Oh my god, here we go." <laughs> But they did you the same way too, yeah. They do they they quick to do our women like that. They really are quick to push that. Um Um Caesarian, they will do that. They will give you them the uh that medicine too. But you know what? I think let me tell y'all, that bitch gave me that medicine. You know why? Cause it was Thanksgiving. Okay? Thanksgiving was the next day. Uh, no, Thanksgiving was in two days. Alright? So, they gave me that damn medicine so they can get the hell out of there. So they can deliver my ass. Because I was the last one that they was waiting on to deliver. And I had them been in, in, in labor for 30 hours. And that black girl, she was ready to go home. Her family was coming <laughs> in. She was like, fuck that, get it, get it, get it, be that medicine. So we can get the hell up out of here. So she can push her ass up out of here. They tried to induce me on Thanksgiving with it. Girl, they would, they would, they would try it. 
Yep, they rushed us to have these damn bags. My bag wasn't supposed to come that day. And they, they definitely, but I mean, it was his day, honestly, you know. But <laughs> the way shit happened, you know, I was like, this bitch really ready to go. She really ready to go. And she gave me that guy to give her that so she can get the hell out of here. This girl done been in labor for 30 hours and I don't, I don't got everybody off the floor except her ass. Can we please get her off the floor? So they gave me that shit. They definitely did that. She didn't come till December the 9th. Okay. Now. They did me like they got my ass. And I, I didn't go back to that doctor. That hospital. Because they spooky as fuck. They was coming in my room unannounced. They was checking on my baby unannounced. And I was over there fucking heavily meditated. Meditated. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, like a mother. They had me fucked up. I had to tell them, yo, cut the meds, my nigga. I'm tired. I'm, 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 i am 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 i Putting shit in the bag. Ready to go. The lady was like, ma'am, you got to sit down. You gon' I don't girl, I'm ready to go home. Y'all crazy as fuck up. Yeah. Ready. Yeah. <laughs> they made my ass sit down, but you know. <laughs> Hell yeah, I was ready to go. Second day. I y'all drugging me too fucking much. I'm ready to go. <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, we you know, but yeah, I don't know how to talk it. But yeah, y'all, check out the show. It's a good one. We're gonna dive in some other wins. And definitely I'ma um do that uh what's the name? What's the academy? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, uh What the uh, fuck is the Academy? Uh uh Umbrella Academy. Okay, goddamn. I'm trying to figure out the Umbrella Academy. I'm trying to figure out what the hell is I'm saying the name of the shit again. <laughs> Same, I was going to the bathroom waiting on there. I would have okay, you would have peed on your damn self. Yeah. Young brother, you pushed her out now. You definitely pushed you pushed her out. Look, the one with um Jen, they was trying to get me to have a cesarean with her. And I was like, fuck no. Nah. No, I'm pushing her. Cause I know even though you have one the first time, you will be yeah, them brownies, they got me. <laughs> They got me. I already it only had two good bites. But uh they uh <laughs> at least you at home this time. I'm at home this time. <laughs> but uh I, I don't forgot what the fuck I was talking about. I don't forgot. Funny. <laughs> oh, I was talking about uh don't take too much. I'ma eat the rest of it, Shay. I got about this much left. Umbrella Academy. We must be lagging. <laughs> because I see a comments. Uh, I don't spell Umbrella. I don't fucking wrong. Oh, well. I'm just going to put Academy. I know what the fuck it is. <laughs> Pieces. <laughs> Hell yeah. I don't fucking know it. I don't uns spell this shit all wrong. I can't even think about what I was saying. But I'm going to get up out of here because I don't fucking lost the thought, train of thought, of what we was talking about. But It was the Umbrella Academy was the last thing, you know. You was telling me to check out the little show. Oh, yeah, the show. Um, the Inside Job. <laughs> God damn. God damn. Um... Ladies, I definitely will see y'all Sunday. We're going to do the class session still. We're on this Sunday. Um, I think it's 6 or 7. I can't remember. I have to look at it and re-share it. But I definitely will be. We'll be doing that. And y'all know y'all can send me stars too now. I, your girl can get stars now. All right. <laughs> so, yeah. You can donate stars. Whatever. Keep it coming. You know, I'm under the uh, Facebook pay pay, um, payroll. All right. So, I got to pull my weight around this bee. Before they cut my ass short from professional mode, okay? 
So, um, I definitely will see y'all sister Sunday for that. And I think that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. Yep. Yeah. You're on my, you're on my thing, baby. You got to move back. You're standing on the thing. But I'm going to get up out of here, y'all. We will see y'all, and we will talk to y'all yeah. soon. All right? All right, peace, man. Love, peace, and oneness. Yeah.